Hey guys, 2020 Eagle Man here with another video effect tutorial from ABS Video. Today we're going to be looking at the water mirror effect, and this is something that's kind of difficult to use. So we're going to go ahead and use this video clip because it's perfect for what we need. We'll just mute that. And so the water mirror effect right away when we put it down here, as you can see, it is kind of distorted, it's kind of sloppy right now, but we can do some cool effects to make it look cool. This is a more difficult effect to use and to manipulate in your videos. So um, this is what we have to work with here. Uh, we can do some selections if we can get the selection on here. Yeah, so you get this rectangle right here that you get to work with. You can change the size of it however you want. And basically what the rectangle is, is the focus point to where uh, the mirror effect is going to occur. So as you can see, this line comes up to the top of the flag here in about midway, and it will be reflected to the top of the flag in the midway right there. But if we move this down, so now the top part is right at the blue, and we can change the offset. So the lower the offset is, the lower, uh, the more the video effect is going to come closer to the box. So I'm just going to decrease the box here. And so as you can see, it only reflects the selected part inside that box. And as we increase the offset, the more further away the selected part will go. So I'm just going to do some things here. So we're going to really select this flag. We're going to do that bring that down there to the flag so there we go so that's what our offset looks like and so if we go ahead and play this you can see that it, all it does is reflect the video so that's kind of cool how it looks like that however there are some issues with the lighting which is kind of hard to manipulate it's kind of hard to take care of so again you got to be careful when you're using this and so another thing that you can do is you can change the direction of the offset so you can do something like this we can just change that around like that and we can go ahead and press play and that's what that'll look like. So it's pretty cool. You can obviously do some really cool stuff with this. And I think I lost my rectangle here. Not really sure where that went. All right, so you can also go side to side, which is kind of hard to see because of the, the way things are looking here. Uh, let's go that way. So yeah, there we go. And then we can select the top of this, drag it up to the selected area that we want to um, offset. And there we go that's what that'll look like so it is kind of sloppy it's pretty tough to use so we're just going to go ahead and go down with that we'll bring that right there okay so now the things i want to focus on are the alpha min and the alpha max and what the alpha min is is the opacity of the bottom part not closest to the box so that is the bottom part of which is the blue reflected part on the flag there so obviously the higher it is the more colorful and the less transparent it will be and the lower it is the more transparent it will be and the alpha max i generally do have the alpha max all the way at 100 because the lower it is the more it blends in oops sorry i'll put that at about 72. so we put the alpha max as low as it can be it doesn't really fade or blend in well with your actual video clip the less offset you have so i would recommend keeping your alpha max all the way at 100 just so that it looks better i think but that's pretty much it for most of the selection areas that you have here um, obviously you can change your different things you can go with an ellipse which i don't think looks as good but you can also do a customized polygon and do all those sorts sorts of things you know what you know what the polygon looks like so you can do some cool stuff with that so i guess that looks pretty cool you can do some cool selections and have them offset so awesome effect i don't really use this much because it is kind of difficult to use um you know with all these offsets and it's pretty tough to manipulate the color schemes in the videos as well but if you can use this correctly it can look very very cool and had some awesome video effects to it and so the fade in fade out with this video effect is just a simply fade in of the video overlay and a simple fade out of the video overlay so it's nothing fancy with the fade in fade out but it is a very cool video effect and i would recommend it if you do know how to use it correctly so that is it for the water mirror video effect. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We have plenty more video effects to come, and I'll see you guys next time.